Wow. Well, that's the story of how I came to Wilmington. I, uh, I, the first thing I thought of when I got here was how fast can I get back to California? You know, it took me a while. It took me a while to realize that it didn't fit who I was anymore. It took a long time, and I signed up with this wonderful staffing agency that sent me here for bartending. And I met these wonderful people. I, you know, it's, it's kind of kind of cliche to say they're family, but they really are. They really are. And I just love all of you so much. My wonderful bartenders and servers. And I work with Jacoby, the bartender, all the time. He's wonderful. We laugh ourselves silly. And Jason and the kitchen staff, they just, they just, I don't know. They're, I love these guys so much. And I just want to thank all of you for your support. And I just didn't believe in myself. You know, and I have so many wonderful friends here. Thank you. A friend has come in from Florida to see me. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to have you here. And all of you folks, thank you. I want to circle back to, um, to the piano bar days in LA. I used to do a lot of that out there. And it's a dying art, as we know. All the really good ones in LA have gone. But the last one I worked at was called The Lyric which was on Hyperion Boulevard in Silver Lake, and they are still, still going strong. And a number that I did there became a favorite, a favorite of mine, um, is from a show called Ballroom, which is based on a TV film called Queen of the Stardust Ballroom. Years ago, it was Maureen Stapleton and Vincent Gardenia. It's about a couple, he's married, he can't divorce his wife because she's ill, and B is a widow. And they meet in this uh, dance hall. They fall in love, and she knows that um, he can give her 100% of what he can give. And Dorothy Loudon starred as B on Broadway. And I had the pleasure of being a friend of hers for a little bit. She's kind of a wild woman. She's passed away recently, but we, we had similar personalities. So she played, she played Beatrice in, in this production. And there's a song that hits me where I live. If I don't feel it, I don't sing it. Um, it's called 50%, and I sang this at Greg's in December. Some of you have heard it, some of you are familiar with it. And uh, basically, it's she knows that she will never have 100% of this man because he's married. So she will take as much as he can give rather than all of what somebody else could give her. And it's called 50%. I don't iron his shirts. I don't sew on his buttons. I don't know all the jokes he tells or the songs he hums. Though I may hold him all through the night, he may. I don't pick out his ties or expect his tomorrows, but I feel when he's in my arms, he's where he wants to be. We have no memories, bittersweet with time, and I doubt He'll spend New Year's Eve with me. I don't share his name. I don't wear his ring. There's no piece of paper saying that he's mine. But he says he loves me. And I believe it's true. Doesn't that make someone belong to you? So I don't share his name. So I don't wear his ring. So I don't 
so there's no piece of paper saying that he's mine. So we don't have the memories. I've got enough memories. I've washed enough mornings. I've dried enough evenings. I've had enough birthdays to know what I It's a constant surprise. You don't plan to fall in love, but when you fall, you fall. I'd rather have 50% of him, or any percent of him, than all.